Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin and Sagu today we're just going to do a general reading baby. Let's talk about your Sag. We'll see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Well, 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 this is faded. We have the Fates card number 17. This is your destiny. Uh, but this card is really similar to the star card, Wish Come True, June Fulfillment. Yeah, stars in your eyes, baby. All right, shine bright like a diamond. All right, let's see what's going on, Sag. Let's get into your reading and see what it all means. What is the moon cycle here for Sagittarius? We have a win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah, you're going to get everything you want, baby. What's this card? Believe in the impossible. Maybe you're feeling like it won't happen. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get the Kipper energy and we'll get into your reading. And Sag, we have a small child, okay? Um, and we have occupation. So this could be something with regards to work that's in the early stages. Uh, you could have children, your partner could have children, and there could be, you could work with children. Um, but let's see, we, it could be about work here, something, like when I see small child in occupation, it's like something in the fresh starts, the beginning stages, you know, you got an idea, and you're putting it into action. According to this, it's going to turn out fantastic. All right, well, let's see what it's all about, Saj, let's get into your reading. Ooh, we started with the Six of Pentacles, though, okay? And Saj, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. There's your opportunity or offer here at this Knight of Cups. We'll see. We have the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries Leo Sag. Could be you getting into your masculine energy. Could be a Water Sign here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Oh, right, well, we got ourselves the Sun, the, well, one of the happiest cards in the deck. All right, two more. What do we got here? Eight of Wands. Oh, what's this card? Four of Swords. Six of Cups in reverse on the bottom here. Oh, okay. There's a three of wands. You're going to have to put something from the past behind you here. Uh, where the motherfucker my clarifiers? Okay, hold on. Sorry, Sag. I bought a new shelf for my tarot cards because my table was getting too messy and I got to adjust my tarot shelf. <laughs> All right. We start this with the six of pentacles. Maybe an equal give and take. Uh, six of pentacles is the kind of card of balance. It's the card of charity, generosity, kindness. What's the six of pentacles here? You're wondering if you should give to this. Ooh. Ah, look at that. A very similar energy than what is on the bottom of the deck. But the Six of Swords here, and there's the Hanged Man and the Page of Swords. So, Sag has been a stagnancy. Um, you might have felt, I feel like there's a delay in getting what you want here. I do feel it has to do with work, but it, it doesn't have to. It could just be another area of your life. Um, and you're at a crossroads as to whether this is going to work. Is it going to get me what I want? Should I continue to move forward or should I move in a different direction? The fact that the Six of Cups in reverse is here and the Three of Wands is there is telling us you're going to have to put something behind you in order to get what you want. Now, it could be thinking, it, 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 well, what does Saj have to put behind them? Because you're wondering if you should give to this. What should, what's the Six of Cups in reverse? Huh. Ten of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay. Wow, look at all these fives in this. Whoa, wow. Uh, I'm going to say hostility, conflict, fight. The Ten of Swords in reverse is a very devastating energy. It could be a betrayal. It could be something that didn't turn out and it really hurt you. It really caused some sorrow in your life. Uh, but you're thinking a lot about this devastating energy, this frustration. This is destruction, all right? So this is like the, the Five of the Wands and the Ten of Swords in reverse is like a tower moment. But when it's with the Five of Cups, it ain't a good tower moment. So there's a little bit of um, an unexpected development, I'm going to say here. Um, that's made you question whether this is where you should or should not be. And it's made you question whether you should or should not stay this course. Okay? So it's the King of Wands. Is that just Sag A? Is that someone else? What you want to say about the King of Wands? Okay, sorry. I thought a card flipped, but I... Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're in a Macklemore song here. Um, okay. Whenever I do that, it's because I'm about to say something a little harsh. So brace yourself. Brace yourself. We're in that meme with that guy from Lord of the Rings. I saw that guy just got arrested in a bar or something like the, that bean guy. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about that. I'm avoiding discussing what I need to say, Sajay. So the justice in reverse is, in my opinion, the king of wands is you. And the justice in reverse is uh, the most harsh cards in the tarot. It represents suffering the consequences of our actions. So it represents making a decision that wasn't really the best decision for us. And therefore, the actions and the consequences went down. This is letting that go. You might have a decision you made in the past here, Sag. It could have been a choice. It could have been a thought pattern. It could have been a habit. It could have been a person. It could have been a job. It could have been a career field. 
but you didn't like your decision and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. And the Ace of Cups is simply putting that behind you. Maybe you just didn't follow your heart, you know, maybe you want to be a dancer, your parents want you to be a lawyer and you just went down the lawyer path and then you thought, fuck man, I'm not really happy being a lawyer. I want to dance. I want to entertain, you know? Um, TikTok has made it really great for dancers to, <laughs> to create success. You notice that? Um, but this is putting that behind you. And the Knight of Pentacles is looking at this from the bigger picture, from a bigger point of view. So looking at that decision, that choice, whatever it was that happened here that worked against you, um, and looking at it from a positive point of view, putting that behind you. You can't change the past, Sag. The only thing that you can do is change your choices going forward and looking at that from a positive point of view. And with the King of Wands here, it's getting into that masculine energy. It's taking control. It's having confidence. It's knowing, shit, mistake happens. If you don't make a mistake in life, you're not fucking living life. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make bad decisions. And all you can do is learn from those choices. They're just stepping stones and obstacles. So I feel they want to stay there. And then putting that behind you. Yeah, there's the Four Swords kind of asking your higher self for guidance here maybe to see how that choice didn't benefit you or to see how you can make a different choice because it is going to work out it's just frustrating right now because something is not quite going your way what's the knight of cups knight, the knights are yeah there's the tower baby and how to feel that tower is going to make an appearance here there's a six of swords there's judgment what's what are we missing here oh look at that putting that behind you, putting that disappointment behind you, looking at it from a different perspective and progressing forward. The two of wands is literally the card of making different choices. When we make the same choices, we get the same results. We got to get outside our comfort zone. We have to look at ourselves and create new opportunities. There's a six of swords again, moving forward and there's judging, making the decision to do that. But there's you trying to figure out how to do that. So the knight of cups is forward movement and there's a the two of cups. I feel like it's balancing the energies within yourself, but I feel it's really following your heart and just being honest. It's like, I feel like this is more of a self analysis and looking at how you can change it up, mix it up to get the results you're looking for. Because there's the sun and the sun is a master of yourself, right? When you're a master of your mind and you're disciplined in your mind, you'll be disciplined in your choices and you can see progress and you can see things. But I also feel like it's focusing on the positive, right? Looking at that devastating energy, that tower energy from the past. Um, and just seeing how it ended up benefiting you because the eight of wands is incoming good news. Um, it's forward movement. It's progress. It's things moving forward. What you want to say about the eight of wands, baby? Damn. Yeah. Seven of pentacles in reverse. It, it's okay. There's yeah. And there's, and there's, okay. So it's the seven of pentacles. It's not giving, uh, I feel regrets here, Sag, or I feel really strong frustration and it's, Realizing whatever happened was not a waste of time. It was a lesson. There's always a value of those experiences. You just got to see it and you just got to look at it with the different eyes, with a different point of view. This is really letting go of thinking about that. Whatever it was that happened, um, it's walking away from the thought pattern. I'm hearing destructive thought patterns. So there could be some thoughts in your mind that are just circling and swirling with regards to that disappointment. And it's just silencing those and moving forward. There's the four swords. If you don't know how, demand answers that's what metaphysics tells us we don't ask <laughs> we demand it higher self i want my fucking answers right now i want to know right now what i gotta do what moves i gotta make where i gotta go because the four swords is all about having inner gnosis right he's asking for the answers he's looking outside of himself but when we look at the card they're all within um and it's just about i feel a lot of self-analysis here because it's gonna work out You're, like i'm saying there's the ace of pentacles but there's the worry there's the masculine energy and there's the queen of swords so and the Queen of Swords is my planning card, especially with that Emperor. Remember, the Emperor has the Midas touch. Ding. Um, so this is about creating a plan and moving forward. The whole point of this reading, Sag, is putting the past behind you. Letting that go. You can't change it. And like Lao Tse teaches us, when we're living in the past, we're depressed. When we're living in the future, we're, no, we're anxious. And when we live in the present, that's a gift. And that's when we get everything that we want. So don't see you getting it though in this reading <laughs> so this reading is all about changing your perspective and moving forward with a plan and going in different directions knowing and not doubting that you're going to get what you want but if there's that doubt in there that fear in there it can delay it so we'll see how things go in a little bit we'll do uh, some oracle cards right now and we'll get your potential outcome we'll see how things are progressing for you sag so what does sagittarius need to surrender to when it comes to moving forward and letting go of this disappointment, your ego, ouch, 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 chihuahua, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, 
but humility will further your goals. Yeah, there's that worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your hearts and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. I want to grab the career advice cards because, you know, the occupation here, this might have to do with career, finances, business. Let's say, let's say. We have adventure. Okay. So you could, um, you have, you could, why can't I read this? You make exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or on a trip. You will need to climb steadily to reach your financial goals, right? Slowly but surely. And there's spiritual work. Okay. So doing some inner work, four swords, will help you get clear before you move on. You will get insights into what will work best to serve our needs. Remember, remember, Mother Sophia always knows best. The universe always knows best. Um, in the flow, the universe is sending you help. So tap into your inner power and deliver, excuse me, and go deeper to create the purposeful life that you really want to have. I did feel like that. You, maybe you went down a career path. I did that in my 20s. I went down a career path that was stable and secure because I require stability and security, but I really didn't like it. <laughs> didn't make me happy. And in my 30s, I changed that, baby. All right, let's get your energy oracle message, Sag. But um, again, this is the card of Lao Tse. Going with the flow. What's the energy oracle message for Sagittarius? Energy oracle message for Sagittarius. What do we got? Appreciation. Okay. Healer Yeshua's. Wow, look at this. This is like a real reflection here. 15 and then 51, really looking in the mirror and looking at your choices. Have patience with yourself, especially as you're looking at this to see why it turned out that way or how you can adjust to get where you want to go. Sagittarius, Sagittarius is the most resourceful sign. I say it all the time because it's true. Um, so use your inner resources. And the principle of appreciation tells us that when we get into the principle of appreciation, when we actively acknowledge that we're thankful for these experiences, we're thankful for the blessings that we have, we're thankful for the skills that we've been given, um, our frequency increases. And we can see things from that bird's eye view, that knight of pentacles, from that bigger perspective. There's some real serious healing that's happening here with Yeshua. Whenever I get the healer of the ages, I got to always pull up my Christ consciousness. Now, you could be activating Christ consciousness within yourself. Um, in my opinion, that always gets activated when we're selfless or when we're going through a dark night of the soul, because that's when we kind of wake up to the reality that we create our reality. So I always feel like there's a really big healing that's taking place here, obviously, because it says healer of the ages. That was a stupid thing to say, but you know what I mean? It's looking at yourself. And that is never easy. And a lot of people spend their whole life avoiding doing that. But not you, because you're watching tarot. <laughs> but let's see what's healing here. Let's see what the Yeshua message is. Why is Yeshua here? What's this healing for Sagittarius here? Just fell right on my lap. <laughs> Whoa! Abundant! Can you, are you seeing 51? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 51, 15, looking in the mirror. There's abundance. Enjoy your life fully damn this all this card represents getting your fruit after the storm going through that motherfucking shit and raking up and rising right it's like the second coming of christ it's like you know um well we all know the story of jeshua <laughs> i don't know if anyone doesn't know that story but if you don't um maybe look up look it up look into it but um and this is all about you know the friendship is loving thy neighbors, coming together with your friends and family, focusing on the blessings that you do have, not the things that you don't have, focusing on the beautiful gifts and skills and things in your life. Um, this is really, again, getting into that principle of appreciation and valuing these experiences, but it's also knowing that everything that you've been through is making you stronger, smarter, and wiser, and you're going to get the fruits of your labor here, Sagittarius, because we have, believe in the impossible, and a win-win outcome is forecast. All right, let's get your spirit animal, and uh, we'll get back to the tarot, and we'll get your potential outcome here. What's the spirit animal message for Saj? Inner strength. Yeah, what are you going through, Saj? She. Okay. You might be facing a challenge that you feel less than prepared for. This is a reminder that you have all the tools in your spiritual treasure chest to handle this effectively. So take a step back and try to look at this with fresh eyes. Which can be harder when you're in the storm, but it helps you get out of that storm a lot quicker. <laughs> okay, Saj, let's get your... Potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will, darling. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see how you do. I don't like the shadows. They're distracting me. Sorry, I'm trying. It's a long story. But let's see where you're going. The shadows will be fixed. I bought like a little curtain thing and a little system here to make it better. I had to move my tarot room. <laughs> anyway, we have the fool. Yeah, we have the eight of pentacles. Your hard work is paying off. Sad Jay. 
Eight of Pentacles is all about discipline, the consistency. There's the world. Yeah, there's the hostilities. We're driving right into the world. That is coming to an end. One more card. Which decided to fall on the floor. Look at you all stable, counting your money. Okay, hold on. What was this card? Yeah, two of wands. Looking forward, not back. Um, so I see you moving forward, Sag. Fresh start, new beginning, discipline, hard work, planning, consistency, right? Um, that's starting to pay off. You're starting to let go of the hostilities, the frustration, maybe negative thinking. The Knight of Swords can be a very hostile and aggressive card, but the Knight of Swords is driving right into this world. That is over, baby. No more hostilities, no more resentment, no more frustration. Maybe whether it's hostilities towards yourself, I kind of feel like it might be to some, because that justice was in reverse here, but um, that's the end of that, Sag. Looking forward, look at her looking, looking forward, not back. Now, I do have to note here, okay? A lot of people think the sun's the happiest card in the deck, and the sun's a great card, but this, the world is the happiest card in the deck. And when you get both of these, you be coming into an amazing new cycle. I say this because when you really study the tarot, the world is the end of the major arcana. It represents the end of that cycle. Cycle's done, baby. This is the Ouroboros, right? It represents time and it represents cycles. And these represents mastering the elements within yourself. So you've learned the lesson that you were meant to learn here. And now you're progressing forward here in a very disciplined, um, structured manner. Not letting any distractions get in the way. You're in the Queen of Pentacles energy. So tapping into that self-awareness, right? The Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Self-Development and Self-Awareness. That's what makes her so successful. Um, so no more distractions, no more frustrations, no more negative thinking. This is your fate. This is your destiny. The past is the past. And you're moving forward with a lot of hope and optimism here, making different choices. Now, the Two of Wands is also my planning card. We had the Queen of Swords. So I feel like it's putting a plan together. Where do I go from here? How do I get what I want to get? doing your smart analysis, your smart goal process, and making things happen. Because Saj, you're in a really good energy here moving forward, just putting the past behind you, letting it go, um, and entering a brand new cycle. I want one more card for some. Damn, Skippy, look at you. Um, hey, wish come true, dream fulfillment, that's what's up. So much to celebrate, but getting the treasure at the end of the rainbow, which is, comes after the storm. We just had recently had like a triple rainbow or something where I was, all these people were on online posting all these pictures there. And was pretty happy with the fucking rainbows, but we had a pretty wicked storm to get those rainbows, you know? And that's the thing. I was like, I ran in the basement, Saj, I grabbed my son, I'm like, holy fuck, get downstairs! Like, there's like, something's going on, someone got it bad. But it was like 30 seconds, I swear, our trees were ripped up in like, like 30 seconds, and we were sitting in the basement, and we're like, it's over. <laughs> but it caused a lot of shit, that little motherfucking storm, but we got a beautiful rainbow, a beautiful sky, and a beautiful new beginning at the end of it. So Saj... That's what I have. That's what's up. Keep the hopes alive. You're going to get what you want. I just feel um, there's a lot of self-growth and self-analysis in this reading. Um, and that's impressive because a lot of people can't do that. So, Saj, that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So, I do hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Sagittarius. Let's get your yes or no question to close off your reading. Yes or no? What's the answer for Saj? The answer is absolutely not. That's what I have, Sag. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.